I'd like to thank the very wondrous, very beautiful, very non Stevie Lynn for their support on Patreon this month. Thank you very much, Stevie. Yet again, you are amazing for supporting us. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much for the support. We've done a bunch of recording today, guys. We're trying to get back into the swing of bringing you regular spooky videos. If you enjoy the content here, please consider pledging to our Patreon. It's the only way these videos keep coming. Really does mean a lot if you do. Still need two new subscribers this month to hit our Patreon goal. And time is ticking a little bit now at the time of recording. Just two more. All you need to do is sign up there. Just for a dollar is the only tier you need to sign up on for it to count towards the goal. But there are some better value tiers with cool rewards out there. Go and have a look. I also want to shout out our producer, Alice. Of course, Alice is a beautiful Nomkin. A fantastic Nomkin. A amazing, brilliant, phenomenal Nomkin. And we all love Alice. Her links are on screen right about now. Thank you so much again, Stevie Lynn. Thank you so much again, Alice. Thank you so much, everyone who is beautiful and supports us on Patreon and allows us to keep making these videos for you. See you soon, and I hope you enjoy this one. It's actually a really good game. Took me and Charisma a bit by surprise with how good it is. Hi, and welcome back to Crinx TV, where it's Halloween every single day. Except when it's not. If you're new here, I'm Minx. And I'm Chrism. And today we are playing Hope Is Gone. What a lovely, cheerful opening screen this is, baby. Yeah, it's wonderful. This man on the right, he just tripped and fell into a swing, and he's having the time of his life as far as I'm concerned. Yep. Let's check out a new game. This is a first-person tribute to Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Let's see if it nails it, or if it's... crap. Let's go. A few months ago, my husband Jonathan and I were involved in a serious road accident. Luckily I came away with only a few scratches, but my husband has been in a coma ever since. He has not improved his condition. He does not respond to any sensory stimuli. I no longer believe he can come out of this. I'm in so much pain. If I had known it would be like this, I would have been in his shoes. If I could go back in time and not make the decisions I made. Yesterday I decided to drown it all in a bottle of wine. I mean, there's worse things to drown. There's worse things to drown it all in, like a lake. <laughs> oh, we got a trophy for finishing the opening. Oh, my head hurts. Wow. I think I drank too much last night. I need to take some medicine. Look for a remedy for the headache. Move using the WASDA keys. You can interact with objects by pressing E when an icon appears on the screen. You can also view the game controls at any time by pressing the escape or P key. All items you pick up will appear in your inventory. Press the tab or I key to open your inventory. We got an anal- oh, there's a- oh, look at us! We're Zoe. And we got drugs. Medication in tablet form to reduce pain. That's very Resident Evil, that. By the way, our cursor is very jammy. Yeah, it's a very jammy cursor. Like, I would probably call the jam authorities. Zoe? What do you want, Richard? I just wanted to know how you are, how Jonathan is. Do you care? You almost destroyed my life. Forgive me, I didn't mean to do it. I don't want you calling after me anymore. Think we were having an affair? Yeah, I think so. Not entirely sure what I'm meant to be doing now, but let's just wander around. Oh, look. It's a beautiful painting Jonathan bought last year. It's, it's the rake, enjoying a nice lakeside view. The rake lake, if you will. Oh, someone's at the door. All the files you can pick up will appear in your inventory in the files tab. It says go to the hospital. Press the tab or I key to open your inventory. I guess we should read this. Dear Mrs. Zoe Lacerda, I'm deeply saddened to write this letter. I'm Dr. Hans Sauerkraut. Excuse me? <clears throat> the doctor responsible for the care of your husband. Jonathan admitted to our intensive care unit. After a careful assessment, unfortunately, we came to the conclusion the injuries resulting from this accident are irreversible. In view of this, I'd like to request her presence at the hospital so that we can discuss the possibility of signing a term of disconnection from the devices that kept her husband alive. 
will be able to available to provide any support you need during this difficult process. Why is it in first and third person? It's a bit <coughs> hard. Doctor in charge of the ICU. And it says hands crack there, but it says hands sauerkraut here. Let's go to the hospital. I would be suspicious about this. I'd be like, is this really a doctor? Did you try interacting with the bus stop? Yeah, I did. There was no cursor, but I can't walk to the hospital. I had to take the bus. I guess you're right, but I don't... Oh, here we go. Wait for the bus. Yes. So you just were in a tent. Listen, I missed the curse. I missed the bloody mag- the jammy magnifying glass. Ah, that bus is going fast. Holy shit. Oh, we're sleepy. Are we gonna fall asleep and wake up in hell? Probably. The answer is yes. Mom, call me Medarak. Uh, Medarak, different name. Could you let me know where I am? Somewhere you certainly shouldn't be. Another person lost in this decadent world. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Look around carefully. You should go back home. There's only misery here. This must be some kind of dream. I just dozed off on the bus. I would say it's a nightmare that is just beginning. I can't do much for you, but I advise you to keep going on your way to de your destination. I was going to the hospital. There's a hospital down the road. It's not far from here. Okay, then just follow the road on foot. It's not that simple. Want some advice? Don't trust anyone here. You're not welcome. Or actually, I'd not trust you. <laughs> Press shift while walking to run. Well, that car didn't go well. No, it's just parking, Bubba. It's just, it's just free parking here. That one there too, so free parking. Well, this one actually does just look parked. They're all the same car. Yep. It's a little worried. It's probably our car. Oh, from the crash. Mm. Well, you're right. That makes perfect sense. Well, this isn't a hospital, but we'll take it. A lovely motel. The door is jammed, baby. Jammed. <laughs> I wonder how many people actually remember that reference. I don't know. If you know what I'm, we're referencing every time I do that and what game, let us know in the comments. Also, nominate on Patreon so we play it. Although, I don't know if I want to play it because it's <laughs> awful. The door is locked. It looks like it could be opened by some mechanism. A key. Jammed. I can't open this door. Hey, at least the dialogue changed. Mm. The door is locked from the other side. I can't open this door. Something is blocking this door. The door is locked. This could be opened by some mechanism. Something is blocking this door. Oh, we can go through the window, though. On one hand, I understand why there are all the things, all the doors and everything. But on the other hand, I really hate it when games put in so many unnecessary doors. Like, they had no intention of any of these doors ever being able to be opened. Yeah. And then the excuse is just like, oh, it's, uh, oh god, it has save points. It has save points. <laughs> I don't mind save points, but I do want them in conjunction with checkpoints, personally. With the axe equipped, press the left mouse button to attack. You can defend yourself using the right mouse button. I got a syringe. I guess that's a healing item. I vastly prefer being able to save yeah. What the? Hi! Oh, wow. We did not hesitate. I mean, I mean he did hit us. For us. He hit us first, to be fair. I mean, that's because we were too slow. Excuse me? What did you say? You heard me. I heard you. Alright, so we have the axe now. Alright, and no regenerating health. No. Which is fine. 
These thorns prevent me from getting through here. I guess we need to solve some more puzzles here, probably, now. I don't know the fact the axe is being wobbly. There was some with a mechanism. Oh, these are open now. I guess we need to just go in and pull that lever. Damn acolytes. There's an enemy in here now, you hear him? Mm -hmm. I despise these acolytes in their cult. They hanged my friend just because he dared to speak out against their absurd rules. The anger I feel is deep, almost unbearable. But look, I don't want to end up the same way. So even though my blood boils with rage every time I have to obey their orders, I lower my head and obey. It's a way of surviving, of avoiding the same tragic fate. But there will still come a day when we will no longer accept this, when we will unite and fight. Ezdrak will get what he deserves. Ezdrak is a very cult leader name. Yeah. Oh. He's like a... Oh, oh. He popped his head like a piñata there, baby. We've got some revolver ammo, but we have no revolver. You ever hit a piñata? Yeah, I have. I've never, I've never, I've never actually hit a piñata in my life. Am I missing out? Nah. On the piñata dream? I mean... It's not something I, like, crave for. I'd rather get the candy inside the piñata. Is there always candy in piñatas, or is it sometimes, like, toys and stuff, or...? I... I haven't really messed with a lot of piñatas, so I wouldn't be able to answer that question. It was candy when I did it. Wow, that block did nothing! Yeah, I was gonna say, I blocked that completely, and it's just- we just took full damage. I like the sign with nothing written on it, by the way. Ah, that's right, that tree will teach you a lesson. He couldn't quite figure it out, baby. He was like, a tree? What shall I do? I mean, it's better for us that they don't figure it out. That's true, we got a heal. And that's it, by the looks of things around here. Although I hear, I hear the buzzing. The buzz buzz. Oh, hi. They're just having a little nap in, in Black Coat Jam. Yeah. The little black coat, they call it a jam nap. Very popular in uh, in jam making countries. It's like a siesta, but with more jammy. Hello? I will go in sight. Oh, hi. Don't mind if I look around, do you? Got a revolver. Press the left mouse button to shoot. You can aim using the right mouse button. To reload your weapon, press the R key. I think I'll save the ammo for now. Because you never know. <laughs> I told you to get lost. How dare you show up at my house? Oh, sorry, I didn't know it was your house. If they catch me, it's all your fault. I didn't find any way to the hospital. I warned you it wasn't that simple. Head to the monastery just ahead. You'll find a way to the hospital. Monastery? Some people attack me. It doesn't seem safe to walk around here. And more people will attack. I said you're not welcome here. But what place is this? You people are strange and crazy. I just want to reach the hospital where my husband is admitted. You're the stranger here. You don't belong in this place. You shouldn't be here. That's why everyone will try and kill you. And how do I get out of this place? First, find out the reason for being here, and I can't help you with that task. Grab the weapon that's right there on the table. Already did, bitch. You'll <laughs> need it more than I do. Thanks, but I've never used a gun before. Just aim, shoot, and reload when you run out of bullets. It's like it's a video game. <laughs> I always wonder, like, the basic gun in every video game is always a revolver. I want a game where we start off with a rocket launcher. You know, instead save, of being the right? last thing you find. Pardon? We did save, right? Yes, we did. Okay, good. We saved with the magic tree. Full transparency, everyone. As I am very sensitive to first-person games, sometimes I will look away from the screen and just enjoy the audio of the game. <laughs> That's completely fair. And we'll just talk about numb things like blackcurrant jam siestas and other things like that. Yeah. Oh no, it's a bonking. Blocking is just a waste of time. Oh, I might have actually 
helped one that one time, but you still get the. I can't tell if it actually helped yeah. because there's still the the animation. I heard the that clang. blocked. That blocked. That counted. I guess I had to be dead, like blocking early rather than on reaction. It seems. <laughs> They're just having such a fun time on that ride. Yeah, it's a really, really nice ride. Very I'm gonna soothing. go the other way first instead of through that door. Oh, I don't know. Sh should I do this? This is like a one way. I did it. Oh, look, it's Henrietta, the jam monger. Hi, Henrietta. Ow. Probably should heal now. Oh look, another little, little, little bath. I'm gonna just use this one. Okay, that's a full heal from the pills from the bedroom. Jesus. He got a little confused there. He was like, should I attack? No. Why would I do that? They're silly. I mean, it's, it's good for us that he didn't. Oh, I hear God. lots of enemies. Wow. She got this. Oh, Baby! Wow. What? Try blocking! I'm trying. <laughs> Not then I didn't, but I have tried. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah. Did that do anything? Yeah. We didn't go down, I don't think. <laughs> Kill ten enemies in one playthrough. Surely that's just a given. We've got another heal. Um, so people might try to run away instead of fight. Oh, yeah. Wow. I can't imagine playing a survival horror game in a survival horror way. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. It's just gross. I'm just checking behind things for, you know, for jam medicine. Jam medicine. Jettison. I wouldn't want to have jettison. Why not? Because it sounds like kind of like jet fuel. And you shouldn't drink jet fuel. Wow. Chrism's tip of the day? Don't I mean, drink it, jet fuel. It's a pretty good tip. I mean, it is. <laughs> like, you will live longer if you adhere to Chrism's advice, everyone. Does jet fuel melt your skin? Um, I don't know. I feel like we should have gone in the monastery and we didn't. Well, that was your decision. Yeah, you can't jump in this game. And we're like in the... I'm going to use a gun for a bit now. Because we're in the big open moors, okay? <laughs> You never know what lurks around the corner of the moors. I do. Well, this gun's crap. I mean, it is very rusty. So that's not really surprising. This looks like a suspiciously suspicious way forward here. Does it? Yeah. I'm gonna it do it. It just looks like a spiky wall to me. Oh, there's people everywhere, baby. So rude. Yeah, you might want to. Oh shit. Henrietta, wait, I'm just gonna reload my gun. Give me a second. Thank you. Their heads are surprisingly resilient. I feel like it shouldn't take three headshots to get a headshot. I am hitting them in the head, right? I'm not imagining this. No, you are. You definitely are. Because their heads I, are like. Popping. I think it takes maybe three shots regardless, but I don't know. No, no, we don't. We have no way of knowing. The thing is, right, I feel like knocking their heads off is probably, like, a plus. You know, for us. I mean... Not for them, obviously. Well, you know, with zombies, you just kind of just kind of have to aim for the head. Do we know if and, there's unless, zombies? Unless it's a necromorph, and then you just take off the limbs. Because taking off the head doesn't do shit. And then you need to be reminded of that fact, uh, you know, even 20 hours into the game. Because you totally could have survived if you hadn't figured it out by then. Can I say something about that, about necromorphs? Mm hmm So, we, there's been a lot of conversation recently, because the new Final Fantasy game has lots of yellow paint to guide you around levels. Mm hmm And, um, people were very upset about this. They were like, oh, people should explore for themselves and stuff. Resident Evil does it a lot now, too, the yellow paint stuff. Mm hmm Yeah, I think that... It does... It does... Stop it, I think. But the, 
the blood still spatters, so it's very conflicting messages. Anyway, um, yeah, I heard, I heard about that. So, in Dead Space, right? You know that it's very infamous with the yeah, was, uh, oh, yeah, you know, tear their limbs off, tear their limbs blah, blah, off, blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. The reason they did that, apparently, because in playtesting, players would get told that at the beginning and then would forget about it three minutes later and then shoot all the wrong bits for hours. I can... You believe I that? Can, I can believe that. Especially since it's a horror game and, like, a lot of people who are not desensitized to it are going to freak out and panic. Oh, no, I went back, babe. Did they respawn? Did they? They didn't. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, I can I can imagine that, especially with players like you, baby. And Excuse I love me? you. Excuse me. And I love you, but you are not very attentive. By the way, we found a note. I should read that quickly. Yeah, you should read that. I can read it if you want me to. Go ahead. Report of the plague. It's hard to believe what happened. My husband felt ill suddenly. Bloody plague. It doesn't make sense. The Acolytes said they would solve the plague problem. They hanged those who didn't follow the rules, killed the sick, and left their bodies lying around. That sounds like a great way to kill off a virus, but okay. But in the end, it didn't work. The plague is still around. <laughs> now they say they found the source of the problem. This place is getting more and more decadent. I don't think... You the use of the word decadent in this game has been a bit unusual. <laughs> Um, to quote Princess Bride, you keep using that word. I don't think it means what you think it means. <laughs> so I pulled a lever, and it didn't open this. But, as this is like a Silent Hill alike, I'm guessing there's going to be various amounts of backtracking at various points to do various things. Hmm. Right? That one's wearing a Pope hat. Looks like it, yeah. No, it's too tiny for a Pope. Okay, so we pulled two levers now. Maybe that will open the door? Maybe. Oh, it lit one of the torches. Oh, do you think I need to pull the other one because it reset? Maybe. Oh, there's another door over here, though, as well. Oh, well, there's another torch that's on fire. Maybe you just need to find a third. Maybe. The thing is, I pulled that lever there, right? And it lit one of the torches by that big door. Mm -hmm. So to me, that would indicate you pull two, right? Mm -hmm. But maybe there's another one down that other route, like you said. It's going to be a little bit of looking around, being like, oh no, this one is still... That worked. So the lever reset uh, when I left the area. I see. Because I did remember you pulling a lever. I did. But the door's open now anyway, so we made progress. Don't know if this is the right way or what we're meant to be doing, but I will take it. Oh, hello. Oh, God. That one sounds very mad. I'm gonna heal. Because I don't trust me. Okay, it's not a full... It's not a guaranteed full heal. Heal? 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 Heal. God! Had a slight stroke there. Okay, he wasn't that strong. But I think that was worth using the bullets on. Because he took like seven, right? I mean, at least it wasn't full. I mean, the game would be over. We wouldn't be able to progress. You know? I'm guessing this opens the door of the big monastery. Because there was like a slot in it, when the one I didn't go into with the bodies playing on the little rides. Mm. Can't go back the way we came though, because we can't jump. So we have to go the only other route out of here now. That was like a mini boss, right? I think. I'd assume so. We'll call he him... He sounded very scary. He did. He had a very grumpy voice. We'll call him Horatio, okay? Okay. All, uh, all enemies that are named have to end in O. Oh. Okay. We're continuing that. <laughs> I mean, yes. In every video from now on. Horatio. We haven't used that name before, so it's fine. That's a Shakespeare thing, isn't it? Uh, I would also say it's Horatio Nelson, one of the most famous British generals. <coughs> yeah, but which came first? Uh, probably Shakespeare, actually. You're right. Hey, I was right. So that goes in there, and we can open the door to the monastery. Huzzah! That, that was good level design, by the way. This is also the front hall from Resident Evil 1 that is always used in every tribute to Resident Evil ever. 
Pretzel is not happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> this is exact. I've played like six games with this hall this year already, and it's only 2024, like February. I hear a bumpkin. Do you hear him breathing? I heard a bumpkin. Would you like to read again okay, for me? Okay, now, now I hear the bumpkin. Acolyte's diary. I despise humans. These bastards show up here and cause us problems. I hate everything that comes from their world. Esdrak. Esdrak, our leader, has issued severe orders to us. He demands that we track down every human who dares to wander around the village, claiming that this is vital for our own survival and the well-being of our community. Esdrak is a mixture of authority and menace. Fortunately, he shares the same hatred towards these humans as I do. Each one I capture makes me feel more respected by him. I lost my place. Only in this way is it possible to have a little dignity in this place. I hear you, Numkin. Let's be friends. Yeah. Hi. You're right. It is a jam swing. Even if you, there's jam everywhere, even if he doesn't hit you. Yeah, which is very confusing. I will say though, for one, a game made by one person, I'm enjoying this quite a lot so far. Oh yeah. Like, it's quite well made. And I gotta say, because this had a FOV slider, right? Yeah, it did. I appreciate the use in that, because it does help quite a bit for me. It doesn't cure it all, unfortunately, but having those accessibility things even on an indie game is very much appreciated. It had a motion blur turn off and a bunch of other stuff too for an indie horror game. Yeah. Very good. Get really good props for that. Yeah, I'm gonna guess this is made by one person, the whole thing. Um, and it, like you said, that's really, really nice. I guess but, we'll see at the end of the credits. Yeah, yeah. I if unlocked this If there was more door. people, it's still impressive. Where did this go? <laughs> oh, wow, this place is huge. I mean, it's gonna be huge. We're exploring a Resident Evil-style mansion in a Resident Evil clone. The door is locked. The lock is rusty. Okay, we better remember, remember that. We don't have a map at the moment. I wonder if we'll find one. That's kind of like a staple for these kind of games. Mm. This should probably take us back to the main lobby, I'm going to guess. Yep. We're going to make lots of different saves, because in this sort of thing, you can get soft locked mm -hmm. if you, like, mess up too much. I'm just going to check the other door in here quickly. Mm -hmm. I think this is barricaded. Okay, yeah, it was just the other one. All right, we did a full loop through there, so we know there's a rusty lock. Let's check out the left side of this area. Oh, this is not what I expect. Normally, there's a dining hall through here with a table and a fireplace, but there's not. Another rusty lock. Props for not having exactly the same layout as a uh, as Resident Evil's mansion. Yay! We've got another heel. Gonna use a gun because the guy in there looks a bit, a little bit grumpy. We have 42 bullets too, so. Hi. I'll get out of the way. Ow. I was one bullet short. You know that was Horatio before? Mm -hmm. This is egg roll. But that doesn't end in an O. Oh, yeah, he's the black sheep of the family. The mother actually named him that to, you know, because didn't like him already. Mean. I know. <laughs> uh, Edith Drax notes, Volume One. These large red trees are not ordinary trees. They are great pillars of our faith, the remnants of the great tree that once made us prosperous. Preserving and worshiping them is the only way to achieve the salvation of our lands and people. They are a central part of our effort to bring back the great tree. Anyone who dares to touch them will be punished with death. <laughs> Don't tell Ezdrak, okay? He'll get so glum. Oh, it goes up here. He's a grumpy boy, is Ezdrak. I feel like... Yeah. They're, they're, oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe don't always use the gun? I mean, this is only the third time I've used the gun in the entire playthrough so far. Yeah, but I know you. <laughs> if I hadn't said anything, you would have used the gun until we ran out of bullets. Moi. It's a painting that looks like an ancient place, but it doesn't look like the one I'm in. 
It looks like some kind of temple. There's a fire burning in it. Guessing horrific ancient demon living underneath this building, by the way. Oh god, it's one of the big guys. Careful, Bubbly. Blocked you again, you fuck. This is actually working out pretty well. Yay! P pretty better than the gun in the end, actually. I do like the way the JPEG of the blood sort of like sticks to the hitbox around them. <laughs> and you can see it. And I'm not being mean, Deb. It's kind of actually, it's kind of like quirkily funny. I like it. <laughs> like it gives, indie games having things like that does give a bit of personality. In my opinion, anyway. I unlock this door. Where does this go? Alright, this is back to the main lobby again. May as well pop down and save. Mm -hmm. Seeing as we're unlocking everything as we go. I'll overwrite the motel save because we're definitely not going back there. Got more creepy pictures. Got more boxes. I guess we're going up to another floor. Oh, we're on the roof. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This place is huge. I mean, it is a monastery. Yeah. I don't think it... I don't think it is, actually. I think this is a jam factory disguised as a monastery for tax purposes. Hmm, that makes sense. So Esdrak is a tax dodger, and he's basically adding to all our bills. <laughs> so that's an even more another reason to not like him very much. There you go, I'm adding in my own lore as we go. What are you giggling about, miss? The, the reason I'm laughing... Is because, um, and a lot of our, oh, hello. So this is a table from Resident Evil Code Veronica, and the character is meant to be the character from Code Veronica. Are you sure? Are you scared me? I thought you were another one of those strange people. Are you lost here too? Yes, you're not from here, are you? I'm lost here too. Maybe not as much as you since I've been wandering around here for a few months. Months? But what is this place anyway? I can't say for sure, but it definitely isn't part of the world we're used to. I would say it's some parallel world, like some stories I heard when I was a teenager. Parallel world? And how do we end up here? I just fell asleep on a bus. I don't know, but I believe we're not here by coincidence. Maybe if you figure out why we're here, we can go back home. By the way, my name's Carl. My name's Zoe. Well, this place is full of strange people. If I were you, I wouldn't stay out here for long. I've seen a lot of people being killed out there. Alright, I'll continue wandering around after having this wine. The only thing that's not rotten in this place. See you around. Maybe not. I thought it might be. But I thought he was going to give us a lockpick. But he didn't, so... I will forget I that. think you should stop talking like you're an authority on the game. <laughs> it looked like the same. Careful! God, There's Jesus! No There's no fall damage. I don't care, it's scary! But I got a male key, baby, so we can open two of the rusted lo I'm guessing that opens the rusted locks. The rusty key. Which is a bit weird. But we'll take it. We can't go through the door on the other side of the lobby because it's covered in the thorns that we don't know how to get rid of yet. But we now have two doors on the other side we can look out and check out. Which is so numb, I would say. I think you could still make new ones. I just made a lot of new ones by accident. Yeah, like you know, 50 new you ones. Don't, you don't need to overwrite anything. We haven't been here yet, so let's check this out before we unlock any more doors. Oh no, we have been here. It's just a side bit of this. Interesting. Alright, well, let's go and open the first rusty door we found. Oh, actually, can we go down here? Oh, we need two of these. We found one. We need the other. That goes to the coffin room in Resident Evil 1. Oh my god. I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not an authority. <laughs> There's something in here. I can hear them whinging. Is that two of them? I can't tell. It might be. He got you that time, I think. Yeah, he did. Yeah, that would be my only biggest criticism right now. Well, not criticism. My piece of advice is um, if you have a block animation, have it different to the swing animation so that... Um, there's no blood, so it visually tells me I haven't been hurt, because blood to me translates to I got hit, 
And I know you have the sound in there to indicate like it bounced off of something, but the blood try to trumps the audio, in my opinion. It definitely throws me off a little. So far then, I think this is pretty good. Yeah. There was another locked door, I think, along here. Yeah, this one. We have the thing to open the basement now, but I'd like to explore this room while we're here. Oh, we got a new gun, a rifle. For stronger enemies, it says, and we got some rifle ammo as well. I guess we'll save this for uh, a rainy day. Mm. And by that, I mean an enemy that goes roar instead of just like roar. You know, one of the O brothers, probably. <laughs> Okay, I think we've been everything we can in the main building at the moment, apart from the thorns we can't get past. Oh god. <clears throat> this is bad health and safety. Could be a boss fight, this. If the game has bosses. About to find out. Oh, it is. Hello. How are you? That is the sponsored boss, Oreo. Ends in line. So it's fine. What about him reminds you of Oreos? It's his favorite food, what can I say? By the way, you can't run and reload at the same time, which is a bit of an issue. I guess I understand the reason for that, but... I mean, it is a gritty, realistic simulator, this, so, you know. <laughs> Ow. He missed again. How did he miss? Are you sure? It sounded like he hit. I do know that, you know. That doesn't necessarily mean anything. Probably meant to use the rifle here, don't you think, actually? Yeah, probably. Uh, let's try it out. Imagine if he hit you with all that, you'd be so fucked. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of health. But he is a walking Oreo. He's dead now. Yay! Also, because he's a bro <laughs> I thought he was alive again. <laughs> no, we just get a... Oh, look at all that blackcurrant jam. Yeah, it's the, it's the new blackcurrant jam flavor Oreo. Brought to you by Oreos. That sounds disgusting. Phone rings. Hi Zoe, are you free tonight? Hi Emily, yes, Jonathan is working tonight, so he won't be sad if I hang out. Great, let's go to a party. My brother Richard is going too. Yeah, this you mentioned they were having an affair. Well, yeah. I, I said I assume. Just by the tone, I thought. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. By the way, you said he was going through some personal problems, didn't you? Yes, taking him to the party with us was help him, and it will help you too. Oh, they were both feeling sad, so they fucked. Allegedly, we don't know yet. It's got the Scarlet Lantern. I'm guessing that gets rid of the thorns. So rude. Let's test it out. Yeah, it does. Yay! So That's we could thing. theoretically backtrack all the way to the thorns we found in the forest and see if there's anything secret there. <laughs> I like how you never got rid of the, like, the spammy things that you did. What spammy things? Spammy things. When you when you were spamming it, you made like five things in the monastery. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> it seems a lot darker now. Do you think it seems darker? No. I guess it'll. We'll see if we go in here. I can't open. Oh no. It's not darker at all. It's got a lot bummer here now. Not no. Nummer. Some all oh, the doors are locked, babe. No. They're not locked. No, you just imagining things. Well, we're going this way. See, imagining things. This way is the only way that actually had a way out because we can climb back through the boxes in this room. I oh, know we can't. Well, I was excited, but we can't. I thought I heard something. Can you use the axe on the door with the thing? I did try it, didn't seem to do anything. Oh, okay. I, I, I'll try again, just because sometimes I get it wrong. I mean, probably not. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, no. 
It'll be a nice little shortcut back to the main hall, but it's only a few seconds out the other way. Yeah, this is definitely not as welcoming as it was. I thought, you know, I thought nice Airbnb when I first came here. Okay, you don't need to overthink things. Listen, I thought nice Airbnb, uh, and now I think bum B&B. And listen, everyone, you might you might sass me for getting so scared about the same situation here. That's because you haven't been around Minximo when she does a fuck up, and then she realizes she's fucked up the saves. <laughs> yeah. It's not good. I have never done that. I was sorry, I was distracted. I have never. That was a delayed reaction. I've never done that. <laughs> You've never messed up. And saved over a crucial save point. I have and lost hours of work many times <laughs> in my time doing this as a job. And I, I never learn. It and, takes the numpty. And, and any no, anything I say, it just goes in your one ear and out the other until it happens, and then you go, oh and then you get upset spaghetti. And then I'm like, Well I told you. <laughs> Don't be mean to the spaghetti, by the way. I'm not being mean to you. Oh, well. Did he get lost? He's lost me! Yeah. And again! What is going on? Did they become blind? I think it's because he was stuck in the doorway. It mm. threw him off a bit, but maybe. It would be cool if if you take out their eyes, they become blind and have a harder time finding you. That'd be a really, really cool um, feature. Feature. We got a padlock here. I actually don't know where this goes. That person having a nap. Yeah, a very jammy nap as well. <laughs> you know what they did, Bubba? They had a big jar of blackcurrant jam, and they were like, gobble, 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 gobble. And they just gobbled the whole thing down in seconds. And then they were like, oh, I'm still full. I should probably have a little nap. These doors are going to open and enemies are going to come out of them, I'm pretty sure. Like, I feel it, you know. I actually don't know where this goes. All I can think of is leaving this castle now and going back to the forest. Because there was a... A place where we could burn the thing these way in the forest. Mm -hmm. God damn it. So maybe if it lets us, we can do that, but I'm not sure it will. Oh, it's night time, that's why it's darker. Oh! It was the right way. We were locked in though. We escaped from the monastery. Oh, it's w oh, it w it, there's only one way we can go. Oh, I don't like this, by the way. It's actually pretty creepy. I know. Like, I usually am not bothered by, like, the dark. In oh, hi. What did you do to the... to thingy? Kyle, what happened here? I'm not sure, but it was definitely those damn acolytes. Who are they? Those people in black and red robes. They're some kind of local cult. Their leader, Ezdrak, has wanted to kill me since I arrived in this world. That blade on his arm gives me the creeps. He tried to kill me too, but I put an end to him. Haha, -ha, you're mistaken. I saw him heading towards the city. I guess that was Ezdrak's brother, mm. Oreo. It can't be. Are you still heading to the hospital? Yes, I believe I'll find some answers there. The hospital is in the city where Ezdrak is. I would be ashamed if he found out you'll be there too. Was that a threat? If it should, it should be easier to hide at night. I'll try not to make any noise. But you'll need to see that flashlight you're using is crap. Take this one. Strong flashlight added. Did oh. we tell him about the hospital? I don't remember doing so, no. Which one's the flash? This one's a strong one. Where? <laughs> there we go. Oh! We got like a nuclear flashlight, baby. Excellent. Oh, I didn't open this before. Oh, there's nothing in it. Worth. Alright, see you later. Bye. Your name is? Kyle. Kyle, see ya.
Okay. Got a... I'm guessing there'll be a clear route back. Probably. Because it seems pretty linear when it wants to be. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, should, I don't remember which way it is. Oh, this is where we fought that guy and it was a dead end. Okay. So it should be back the way we came. This goes to the road. Just gotta run. I'm surprised oh. we don't have tetanus. I hear bumpkins. It's just so rusty. Oh god. Might need to use the big gun here. Excuse me? Do they just take three shots whatever? Well, these ones usually take, like, seven from this one. We won. Everything's fine. Two of those at once was a bit mean. Mm. They were, I think they were guarding this entrance? No, probably not, actually. This is just a save point. Oh well, this is probably the right way to come, at least. Ah, this is where we have to go. This is what was walled off before. I knew there was some vines out here, but I couldn't remember where. Mm. Hey, new area. It's the bus that we crashed. It's the car we crashed. The other bus we crashed. And our car again. Oh my god. These are all symbolism, Bubby, for the cars that we've crashed. I mean, it might be. I mean, probably is. I'm going to go back because I want to check the other way first. Well, that's a dead end, so I don't need to go that way anyway. Oh, there's a pretty tree over there. It's probably where Ezdrek's hanging out. He says he likes those trees. Hello. Yeah. Did you like hanging out in trees? Pardon? Have you ever hung out in trees? I mean, I actually quite like woods, yeah. But not in the tree. Oh, I have climbed trees, yes. When was the last time you climbed a tree? A long time ago. My friend had a tree house, like a really elaborate one. Oh, that's cool. That his dad built for him. So I used to, uh... There's a giant tree in the background, I think. There is, yeah. Maybe we can build a tree house there. This place is massive. I don't know if I'd want to build a tree house in a glowing tree, but... I mean, you, you can always find it. Oh look, it's a cinema. Yeah. Right? Yep. Oh, hi, it's her. How's it going? Hi. Uh, Medrak, what happened to you? I told you they wouldn't catch me because of you. No, me. Forgive me. It was my mistake. I should have handed you over to them. I'll help you get out of here. Go away. Ezra will show up soon and execute me. If you're here, we'll both die. I'll help you one last time. I heard the acolyte say there's a human trapped in the hospital. I believe it's something to do with you. Could be my husband, Jonathan. He was in the hospital in my world. Maybe this is your chance to return to your world. Go save him. Thanks so much for everything, and forgive me. Oh, we can't ignite the match. Baby! To warm her up, I mean, that's all. You're evil. I'm not evil. You said I'm a numpkin. I mean, that was before you said all. Oh, I can't burn this lady, zombie, but still. <laughs> the one that's been helping us. I mean, she just expressed the fact that she wouldn't mind if we died. Yeah. But that's because she's a bit, you know, cross that she's gonna die now. Overreacting, if you ask me, Bubby. <laughs> she's being so dramatic. So dram. Is that what is that what the kids say? I have no idea. I just made that up, by the way. I have, I no, have idea. no idea. I have no idea what the kids say. I didn't even know what goat meant until... You t I told you? Yeah. You're the goat, Bubby. I can't remember which video was that. Was that in Curse Mountain? I can't remember. It was in Curse Mountain, yeah. yeah. You're the goat, Bubby. <laughs> yeah! I feel like I should go back to the axe for the most part. Hmm. 
I will say, resources in this are pretty tight, from what we've seen. Yeah. This is not the hospital. The car is broken and rusty. It looks like it's been here a long time. I mean, she didn't say, oh, it's my car, so... This is like a factory. I'm guessing this is going to be locked. But let's go and check it out anyway. No rush. When they die, their head pops like a piñata. Yeah, you said that. Oh, I did, didn't I? Yeah, we talked did. about piñata. Oh, my God. I saw a great movie once called Killer Piñata. Did you really? Yeah, genuinely. It's about a horse piñata that gets very upset that the other piñatas are being killed. A uh, hi. You seem scared. You want to kill me. No need to fear. I'm not some kind of zombie or madman. In fact, no one around here is. We're just ordinary people living in misery and fear. So why do you want to kill me? You wouldn't understand. Thanks. Buck crack or whatever your name is. <laughs> Don't know why I'm here, but we're going to do this building, I guess. But yeah, uh, killer piñata. It's, it's a horse piñata. I think... I hear a lot of bumpkins breathing. Yeah. I mean, it is convenient that they breathe. Because if they didn't, we wouldn't know. They stink up on us. I mean, that is true. I'm not entirely sure what I'm meant to be doing here. Being a numpkin. I feel like we were meant to go to the hospital and then find out to go to the factory. These are very old machines. If they work, what do they do? Because the hospital will be locked or something. We'll find the key here. You know. For the hospital for some reason. I don't know why we'd find the key to the hospital in the jam factory. But. It is what it is. There's just the breathing everywhere in this place. I'm guessing there'll be a boss in here, and because it's a factory, legally, he has to be carrying a chainsaw. For health and safety reasons. That makes sense. The door is locked from the other side. If you could stop breathing, sir, only when, and only breathe when I'm near you, like, really obviously, like, Wah, die, human, or something like that, that would be very numb. There was a check thing. Yeah. Just having a look. It's just, well, the check thing just tells you about the machines. Oh. We've already looked at it a few times. Letter from worker. I come to work in this factory to try and bring a little more dignity to my family. In this decadent world, everything they working here would be the best one... Hang on. Everyone thought that working here would be the best one could have around here. But here is almost a punishment. The supervisor is a damn sadist. He offends and abuses us all the time. He does everything he can to destroy our lives in here. The environment's dark, hot, smelly, and unhealthy. Last week a guy fell into a machine and was completely ground. We continue working normally, day after day, and receiving ration as payment. I need this job. I have a family to feed. Okay, then. This is probably to the outside that I'm going to guess. Should I test it? Yeah, might as well, right? Okay. Yeah. So the green thing... There's a metal chain blocking the door, but no lock. I guess we need to find some bolt cutters, probably? Can I pick up this? No. We can't go back either. So it's gotta be around here. See, there are very old machines. If they work, what do they do? Like I said, they're jam machines. We already discussed this game. Didn't we, Bubba? Yeah. No, this does go back. We'll be back in a minute, guys, when we find out what to do. We're a bit lost here. Found a lever. Let's turn things on. Probably open some of those doors that we need to open. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Turned out there was actually quite a lot of ways to go up here that we hadn't been yet. And this place is absolutely ridiculously massive. I broke the save system, everyone. Yeah. This is where we came in. It is. I'm very hungry. Some old bread would be really nice right now. Okay, I've remembered that. But if I can't find any, I'm sorry, okay? 
Yeah, the save system won't make new saves now. It's just overriding the latest one. <laughs> yeah. And it's not really my fault, but it also is my fault. Yeah, I think when she spammed it and made those three at the same time, they really didn't like that. Listen. Because we had up to, I think, 11 saves, and now we can't get past, like, 8, I think. <laughs> Listen, I'm just a lost Nomkin, called Nomkin, with a lovely, lovely nom, nom okay? Mm-hmm. And as a result, this door up here is open now. This was locked before. Oh, my God. Corrosive acid. Oh, that's for the key. Oh, no. It's a boss. Oh, boy. This is replicating Silent Hill so much right here. Mm -hmm. Siren and everything. Oh, God. Ow. It's all right. bullets this is going to take, but the last one took a lot, right? The first boss. Mm. Oh, God. His range is nuts. That wasn't a sponsored boss, by the way, so it didn't have a name. Look at him sleeping. He's doing his best. He's living his best life. Just having a jammy nap. I unlocked the store. Yeah. Oh, God. That is not Nom. I don't know if this is a special guy. I don't think so. Oh, I need to heal. Okay. We're fine. Gonna get the axe out and start hitting them in the belly. Okay. I just cut his arm off. Not zombies or anything. He got lost again, see? We just we just ah <laughs> We just hiss. Not doing too good here, am I? No. I mean, you're not doing the worst you've ever done. But Yeah. I do have two of the super heals. Okay, he pretended to be lost and then hit us. Mm -hmm. I used the corrosive acid and we got through here. Ooh, we got the bread for the guy outside. You got revolver ammo, another heal, and a note. Could you read this one, love? I, uh... Do you want me to? It is believed that many ages ago, our world was prosperous. The Great Tree gave us the Grimoire, a book that had the ability to heal the sick, bring bountiful harvests, make the sun shine brighter. The list of blessings contained in this book was enormous. Some blessings were explicitly forbidden because they were too powerful. One day, a human appeared in our world and we were very receptive. He stayed here for weeks and was very interested in the grimoire. <laughs> Fucking human. This man disappeared, possibly back to his world. He took our grimoire with him. Since then our crops have rotted, our sick have died, and the sky has become cloudy. 
The great tree has withered away. We ruin everything. Humans <laughs> ruin everything, everyone. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's why they hate us. Escape from the factory. Let's give the man the bread. Here. Here's your bread. I'm very grateful. Is that all? Yes, what do you expect? A reward? That's the, why no one likes humans around here. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> for the trophy, charity. For helping someone for no reason. So what did that achieve? I didn't get anything. No, it was just a side quest, I guess. Alright, well there's another way to go. There's another route, so I guess we'll head over that way. We didn't even get a new gun. Nope. We just gave someone some bread and fucked off. <laughs> I'm not going to help anyone without upfront payment in the future, alright? Do you think What's the Face will be dead by now? Oh, I hear someone. Probably. Oh, yeah, she is. And she's got friends. There is like 10 guys there. Well, don't go there then. How many will... I have to get past them. How many aggro is the question, you know? I mean, there might be an item on her body. That might be why we had to do that. I guess if we get stuck this way, we know to go back and check, right? Mm-hmm. She was very crispy looking. You're right, I think they do get blinded. That's cool. If that's the case, that's cool. The hospital's anywhere, it'll be here. Yeah, this looks like it. It looks like a bit like a Silent Hill hospital. Although, I guess that it looks like any Midwest hospital or something like that, probably. <laughs> Don't mind me, little jam friends. Oh, we, need to, we needed the acid from the factory. So that's why we had to do it. Mm. Phone rings. Zoe, it's me, Richard. Oh, Richard, how nice to hear your voice. I mean the same. I miss you. I really wanted to see you. My husband's working tonight, so I'll be home alone all night. Is that an invitation? You're damn right it is. I'll bring that wine you like. Okay, so yeah, we had an affair. And then our husband went into a coma and we got super guilty about it. Mm-hmm. Try to see if you can make a new one now. Okay, I will. Because maybe it's like per... Nah. Yeah, you broke the save system. <laughs> no, I didn't. Hospital, it just went in a weird slot. Twice, see? No, but that's what I mean. It's redoing the last one you did, babe. N okay, hang on, let me show you, okay? So at the moment we agreed, there's two that say hospital, yeah? I understand there's two that say hospital, but we got up to 11 save slots. Yes, and, but now, now... And now when you do... See? Okay, you win. Yeah. I'm gonna go cry. <laughs> anyway, time to explore the hospital, I guess. Yeah! I will say, combat gets a little repetitive, but I guess that's true for any, like, survival horror game. We need a common key for the lock. Mm. And a skull key, so there's two themed keys at least for the hospital. Unless I'm misremembering the amount of saves we had. I don't know. No, we'll we had 11. Out. We did have 11, you're correct. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out uh, when we edit the footage. Or when we just the footage. Hello! He died super fast, right? I mean... You were repeatedly hitting him in the head with a very pointy object. Oh boy. We might be in trouble here. We're fine. I didn't mean to aggro two at once, but it worked out okay in the end. Yee. And that one had some rifle shells, which is probably going to be useful for a boss fight again, let's be honest. Anything in the lock? Doesn't look like there's anything in the locker room. Could be opened by a mechanism, so we need a lever for that. Alright. 
dead end this way, but at least we cleared it out. E. Of, of, of having a little jam sleep. And the only way we haven't gone is this way. This is a nice, nice sanitary hospital ward. I mean, I guess this is all humanity's fault, really. Well, actually, no, it's, it's one human's fault. You can't pin it on all of us. You know, I would have done the same thing. But that's just, you know, we're just two people. Right, Bubba? Yeah. Would you have cursed him forever? Well... Depends. How do you feel in that day? Yeah. Seems to be connected to the door in some way. There are three places for keys, each with a different colour. Oh, wow, I actually have no idea where to go then. Oh no, we haven't been in here. Hopefully there's something in here. Yes, there is. We've got the common key. I will say, the levels in this all make sense. Like, everything loops round correctly. You know, you, you when you find a shortcut, it opens up a proper shortcut. The level design is very good. Mm. For, for a small indie game, these games can get really confusing. I've played a lot of Resident Evil clones, you know? And I guess this is a Silent Hill clone too, but you know what I mean. Like, this one plays really well. Like, significantly above average. There's the lever for the other doors. Oh, nothing else in here except a copy of the Necronomicon. Any book in a horror game is the Necronomicon, by the way. I don't make the rules, sorry. Alright, we open these two doors here, baby. We need a skull key. Oh no, what happened here? It seems to be a couple. I wonder why they were killed so brutally. There was a romantic death, Bubby. Yeah. You agreeing with me? I said eh. Eh. Oh. Eh. I thought you said ye. Alright. Go away. Go away. Why do you think hospitals make for, like, a popular stay in horror games? Well, hospitals are creepy. I don't know if I'd say they're creep. I mean, no one likes being in a hospital because you're usually there for horrible reasons, right? Yeah, that's why they're creepy. Is there anywhere humans like being less than a hospital? I mean, other than like on fire or something. Mm. She's doing a limbo. Yeah. A limbo dance for nomkins. There's a lot of these sleeping jamkins. I am wondering if there's a story behind them being like that, other than just like, it's cursed. A lot of heels up here, like a lot of them, which is good. And we have a lot more to explore yeah. there. Take your time getting, oh my God, you fucking arsehole. How dare you have an animation. I will say, I just noticed something. All the monsters make the same noise, regardless of what monster they are, until you're close. And then they, like, break into their own sort of, like, you know, natural call. You know, mating call, maybe, if you will. Like, caca! Like that. Hmm. What do you think? I don't know. I haven't been listening that closely. I know the sword guy sounds a bit different, but... All right, we need a fuse, by the way. It's a horror game. You need a fuse. There's like 90% of horror games have a fuse puzzle, let's be honest. Yeah. <clears throat> all right, and that's this area all cleared out. We found a blue key and a skull key. So that's a lot more places we can go now. This was like, that was a dead end where the couple were like hugging in a romantic pose. A romantic, sweet pose. We got the red key. Oh, the red key's for the basement. Mm. There's a love letter here. I bet this is going to be really romantic, okay? Mm -hmm. I write with trembling hands, fearing for our lives. In the midst of this misery, I found something rare. Something to call love. Something I thought was impossible for years. At night, we hide in the storage, defying the brutality that surrounds us. But the punishment for our love is death. 
They say love only brings misery. We are forced to live in the shadows, always fearing being discovered. If someone finds this record, know that true love existed here, resisting against the cruelty of this perverse world. Our fragile flame amidst the darkness. I... So why write it? <laughs> I mean, we found their bodies, so they definitely didn't do okay in the end, did they? Let's be, open, let's be honest. <laughs> it's like... Well, I know why write it, so we the player can figure it out. But seriously, come on. You're in a place where it's illegal to be in love with whoever you're in love with. Don't fucking leave a paper trail. <laughs> Dear diary, today we had sex. I hope no one finds this as I leave it out on my main desk. <laughs> we got research on the plague and a fuse. Oh god, that caused an enemy to spawn. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Why why is a factory worker in the hospital? I mean, I guess you could have had an accident. Not very consistent, is it, the uh the metal, hitting the metal there. Mm. Go away. Alright, now we have the fuse. Mm. I'm pretty sure we've opened all the skull doors. I think the fuse will give us access to the final area that has the last key, and then we can open the door in the basement, find our beautiful husband who won't resent what we've done in any way, shape, or form when we tell him, and everything will be fine. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of a possible bad outcome for our behaviour in this. So it's probably okay. <coughs> Alright. Oh, wow, this is bigger than I thought it would be in here. Here's the last key. It's a green key. Oh, God. Hi. All right. Why is Rapier Man here? Okay, like, this is a hospital, sir. First of all, that's not a sanitary outfit to be wearing, especially now it's covered in blood. Secondly... I think that's just a sword. I don't think it's a rapier. Oh. But actually, well, it's hard to tell now. No, no. Yeah, it's just a sword. <laughs> regardless, it's not appropriate attire... For the premises, and I will be putting in a complaint in with my doctor that this is not a sanitary place for my husband to be placed. <laughs> oh shit, two at once. Could I just run? If this door is locked, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Baby, it's. Th I could just run away from them. Bob and Weave! Weave and Bob! Go, go, go! Oh, it's, uh, what's the guy's name? What's his face? You got, you corrected me last time, but I can't remember what it is. Kyle. Kyle. Hi, Kyle. Kyle! Zoe, I finally found you. I found a way to return to our world. There's something like a potion that would help us regain consciousness in our world. And do you have the potion? Not yet, but it's somewhere in this hospital. I'll keep looking. I would help you search, but I need to find my husband first. <laughs> oh, wow. This place is getting quite dangerous. It's almost as if they're trying to stop me getting to my husband or something. Could be like seven guys in here. Or none. We did it. Huzzah! Oh. It's the tree What the fuck is going on here? Oh, do I read the one about the research on the plague? No, he didn't. I've been, you got you do it. Yeah, go I, ahead. I've been studying this plague that afflicts our people for a long time. This deadly disease came unexpectedly. Many believe it would be another punishment for a miserable people, a punishment from the great tree that withered. My theory from the beginning was that it was a disease caused by the increasingly constant presence of humans in our vicinity. Unfortunately, Estrak provided me with human test subjects so that I could conduct some experiments. Seems my theory was right from the start. Wow. Oh, we've got well, Estrak notes three, but we missed two, I guess. For us to make our seed grow, we need a lot of human flesh and blood to fertilize it. However, humans appear very sporadically around here. Sage hands crack. 
That's the guy from the hospital. Yeah. Has a lot of knowledge about travels between worlds and managed to create a method to bring more humans here. Most of those who come to our world are unconscious in their world. Thus, we can capture them when they come here and perform a ritual to summon people who are spiritually connected to them. Hands will play an important role going to their world to harvest more humans. Ah. Well, mm, not an ideal situation to be in, is it really? Let's be honest. I mean, we should have been sus when the uh, doctor was speaking in the uh, third person and then also wrote two different names. <laughs> That's true. This is definitely a boss fight. That a Hudsby? Jonathan, it can't be. What are they doing to you? I'll get you out of here before anyone shows up. Well. Oh, here's Ezdrak, probably, right? Or is this Hans? I don't know. Wow, he's jacked. Nope, it's Ezdrak. It seems like you found your husband. You're the one to blame for him being here, aren't you? If he were awake, he would surely despise you right now. He's already a dead man in this world and in yours. Your fate will be the same. Well, there was no save point here, by the way. I don't know if he's got a ranged attack or what, but I'm a bit worried. Mm. He does. Not a lot I can do. Oh my god! Do you see that? Well, no, I just saw you. Oh, he took off half my health in one hit. And I missed him with an entire clip. Should we have our lantern out? God damn it, I keep missing. Oh, we have no bullets left for this. I guess we're going for the pistol now. Oh, there could be bullets in these, right? Oh, there yeah. is. That takes off almost your entire health bar when he does it. I think you're supposed to dodge, baby. I'm not really sure how to you stop it. Dodge. Dodge to the side. I think it goes in a straight line. I guess if you're running when he does it, he can't do shit, right? Bullshit. That was a double. <laughs> He's quite fat, but I have a hard job hitting him. <laughs> I have six heals left. Yeah! Oh, God! Okay. I don't think he's dead yet. I think he'll come back as something else. Or not. Are we going to kill our husband now? Oh, here's what's-his-face. He might be bad. Do we kill Kyle? Driving on the road. Who's Richard? Oh shit, the accident, he was confronting us during it. Mm. Richard? It's Emily's brother and friend of mine. Friend? I know what you've been up to lately. I don't know what you're talking about. You're drunk. Liar! Emily told me everything. Emily is a lying bitch. Will you believe her? She showed me pictures and videos, Zoe. You're cheating on me with Richard in our house while I work. Say something. Why are you speeding so much? Stop the car and let's talk better. I'm getting scared. Stop this car. I'm not gonna fucking stop. Watch out! Oh shit. I mean, this was entirely our fault. I mean, he didn't stop the car. No, I understand that, but we're the ones who had the affair in the first place. That is true. <laughs> Let's see what Carl has to say. Zoe, I found the potion. You're amazing. No, I'm Kyle. Did you find your husband? Yes, he's right there unconscious. Great. Finally, the three of us can escape from this macabre place. Well, I'm going to test this potion now. I'm going to stay another second in this place. 
See you soon. Goodbye. Well, he's gone. Imagine if he just, like, he's, like, exploded. Finally, we'll go back home, my love. I hope you can forgive me for everything that happened between us. How did he drink it? I guess he just poured it on him. Why do we still have the guy's bread, I just realized? How do we use it? Oh, we're just using it. Okay. Oh, uh, okay. I want to see my husband, Jonathan. Hello, Mrs. Zoe. I am Dr. Hans, the doctor in charge of your husband. Dr. Hans. Hans Crack. That's me. How is Jonathan? Zoe, I sent you that letter because according to all our analysis, we thought his condition would be irreversible. However, against all odds, he had a surprising improvement. When I assessed him, I found some memory problems. When I asked if he remembered his own name, he said his name was... Ezdrak. He also remembered you. He said he can't wait to see you again. Dun dun dun! <laughs> I like this a lot. It was good! Created by... let's see how many people were involved. So this is just the royalty-free music packs. They were all good, by the way. Yeah. And I think the whole game is made by one person just using assets and things, look. You know what? I don't mind the use of assets if you're gonna make it unique in some yeah, way. Yeah, assets can be used really effectively. There's no shame in using them. It's completely fine. You don't need to make everything yourself, especially when you're one person starting out on being a game dev. Yeah. It's completely reasonable. We have played some good games that use assets. That's it. Alright, I really liked that. Yeah, I really I liked thought, it too. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought... Moral of the story, don't fucking cheat. There's no reason to cheat, just don't cheat. Just or, don't. Ever, or drive. That's I mean, a, also don't drive, but was, mainly don't cheat, because they would have been fine in the car if she hadn't cheated, and, um... Yeah. <laughs> but for, for an indie low bike, this was two quid. Oh, for, yeah. For an indie Resident Evil clone... So this is pretty decent. Yeah, it's been, it. it's been like an hour and a half-ish. Yeah. yeah. One hour, 24 minutes exactly. Yeah, you know. It's pretty good. Anyway, we hope you enjoyed, guys. If you did, slap a like on the video. Let us know what you thought in the comments. If you have any suggestions of short games like this you'd like to see us play, let us know as well. Mm. It can be old games as well. You know, we're happy to go back and check out some older stuff if people want to see it. You should also consider pledging to our Patreon. At the time of recording, baby, we only need two subs to hit our goal for the month. Just two. Oh my god. At any tier, go subscribe right now. But the $5 one is the one that gives the best value. It lets you vote and nominate on our long plays. Which is super numb. Yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening, and we will see you all soon. You should go watch Silent Hill. The oh my god. Do we did do a playthrough of Silent Hill, right? We've done, we done all the Silent Hills except Book of Memories, as it stands. Go watch one of those. Alright, we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Bye.